Welcome back to KTR Videos. Today I am going to be teaching you how to draw the adorable Num Num Pinky Lemonade. So go ahead and get your paper and your pencil ready and let's get started. All right guys, to start off, we are going to begin with the left eye, which is closed. So we're going to make a banana shaped eye. So you're gonna make a curve line like this and then do another curve line on top. And as you can see, it looks like a banana. And then of course the eyelashes. So we're going to add two of them right there. All right, once you get the eyelashes in, let's leave a little bit of space and add the nose, which is an oval. It's more or less an oval, like, like this. So not too big, but not too small. Okay, and once you get the nose, let's go ahead and move over a little bit more and we're going to add the next eye. Now this eye is open, so we're going to draw a small circle. Just take your time on this and if you need to erase and do it again, then do so. Okay, so like that. And let's add the two eyelashes in and then the little glare spot as well, like that. Perfect. All right, the mouth. The mouth, I'm just adding the little middle part here and I'm coming up and then coming up on the other side as well. And it's going to resemble a bean by the time I'm done. So I'm just gonna come down and around. So doesn't that kind of look like a bean? So I'm, I'm fixing it up right now, but that looks like a bean. So that's the mouth. And then of course we have to add the tongue in there, which is just a curved line right there at the bottom. All right, time to draw her body now. So we are just gonna curve slightly next to the eye, come down until we get to that other eye. Right now I'm just doing that curve there so I know where to stop. So it's about something like this more or less. All right, and then from here, let's go ahead and jump back to this side and we are going to continue coming up a little bit, keeping a curve to this. Okay, and then this side as well. Coming up like that. All right guys, we are going to start the drippings in the face and I'm gonna start with the biggest drip that's close to her eye and that's because this is the most important one. The whole reason why her eye is closed is because there's a drip of icing that's about to fall in her eye. So, and then from here, I'm gonna go ahead and draw the rest of it. I'm just trying to, I'm trying to copy the picture, but don't worry about it so much. Just add some drippings. The most important one is that big one that we started off with. Um, let me get rid of some of that pencil mark there. Okay, coming back to this side, I'm gonna continue up and around like that. Perfect, all right. And uh, let me clean up here. And now let's come back to this side, guys, and we're gonna continue up a little bit, keeping a slight curve to this, coming up and around a little bit here. And I'm gonna stop there because that's where the bow's gonna start. So before we do that, though, let's come to this side and kind of stop around the same point. So coming up, curving slightly, and there we go. All right, now it's time for that bow. So the bow, we are going to start off by making a curved or C-shaped line. So I'm just taking my, my time here, but you'll see it's gonna look like a C when I'm done. So coming up, down, and around like that. So that kind of looks like a C. It's a little bit longer, but you know, you get the idea. And the center is um, like a cylinder. So we're just gonna draw that in like that. And then the inner part of the bow, it's just a semicircle. And then this next part of the bow is a bit longer and rounder, uh, but not too much, but just a bit. And we're just gonna draw it in like this. And then of course the inner part of the bow as well like that okay let me zoom out here all right this should make it easier when i'm doing the ear so the first ear which by the way i'm not going to be able to fit the tip top in but that's okay so we're going to come up a little bit and then start the bite marks there's about three or four and for me this is where that ends there because i ran out of room <laughs> all right and then we're going to come up starting in that middle piece of the bow there we go like that and the next ear starts halfway and then come back to this side over here and then just kind of slowly make our way up. Now, if you have room on your paper, guys, then just continue up. It's gonna look more like a cylinder or sausage type of thing. All right, 
Um, from here, let's add the inner ears, which are semicircles or semicylinders, really, because they're kind of longer, I guess, like that. And now the sprinkles. We're going to add one over here, one over here, and one more, which sits about here. All right, guys, that ends the drawing portion of this video. I hope you enjoyed drawing Pinky Lemonade with me. If you want to color in along with me as well, then pause this video and grab your crayons, your markers, or your pencils, and come on back and keep watching. Today, I will be using colored pencils, and the colors I will be using are orange, a light, light brown, yellow, a darker brown, pink, and red. All right guys, I'm going to start off as always with the eyes. So I am going to trace um, the eyes color and the eyelashes. And this is with my dark brown, by the way. Um, and I'm just gonna color until I am happy with how it looks. So I like it super dark, so I'm gonna keep coloring. And once you're done with that eye, we're gonna jump to the next eye and I'm going to trace and color in um, the eyelashes and the eye. And once we're done with the eyes, we'll jump down to the nose and the mouth because they are also brown. So we'll trace the nose in and color it in completely. And once you're done with that, you'll jump down to the mouth and uh, trace the mouth completely and then color it in as well. Just be careful not to color over the tongue because that is supposed to be a different color. So just color and there we go. All right, for the tongue guys, I'm using lavender. I forgot to show you this color because I just assumed her tongue was going to be pink and it wasn't, it was a kind of purple. So there it is. Um, all right, now I'm taking my red and I'm going to trace um, just that portion right here, her face. Um, like that. Okay, from here, we're going to jump to our pink and we're going to color in the entire face, but not the icing. And don't color too dark here, guys, because I'm actually gonna end up mixing colors. After this pink, I'm going to grab my red and I'm gonna add a light color of red because she's not pink, but she's also not red. She's like a mix of the two colors, which is why I needed both of those colors. So here's my red now. I'm gonna very lightly, very, very lightly add a layer of red. I don't want to color too dark here because I don't want her to look red. This is just to give her that red tint that the pink has. So there we go. Now I had to repeat that process a couple of times. And anyway, right now I am adding the shade and I do that by just darkening up the sides of the icing and the sides of her face and, and the bottom part as well. So it looks something like that. All right, now I'm taking my yellow and I am tracing and coloring in the icing. And yellow, as you know, is a very light color, so you might have to color this um, a couple of times to get it nice and solid. Okay, now I'm taking my light brown and I'm tracing the uh, sprinkles because her sprinkles are not red, they're kind of or an orangish color. Now I'm taking my orange and I'm going to color in the sprinkle. And once I'm done with that, I'm gonna take my light brown and I'm gonna add a, just a slight little layer on that and then back with the orange again. And I'm gonna repeat that process. I'm gonna go orange, light brown, orange. Orange, light brown, orange for each sprinkle. All right, now I'm taking that light brown again and I'm tracing the bow, the entire bow here. And once you're done with that, we're gonna switch back to our orange and we're going to color it in completely. Almost there, like that. Okay, now I'm gonna take my light brown and I'm just going to very lightly add a layer of that to the bow as well because if you look at her bow, it's, it's orange but it has like a touch of brown to it. So, um, and then I might go ahead and add some orange on top of that again. Now that I have the color I like, I'm taking my brown again and I am going to um, darken up the inner part of the bow and then darken up the edges. That's it. So just make sure you do that throughout the entire thing. And when I'm done here, I'm also going to jump down below to the sprinkles and add a darken up the edges of the sprinkles as well with this brown. Like that. 
All right guys, now we only have the ears left. So let's start off by taking our red and we are going to trace the ears first completely. Like that. And now let's take our pink and add a uh, layer of pink, the entire thing, both ears. And then let's switch back to our red and add a layer of red, just a light layer. Because we don't want it to look red, just with a touch of it. And then now uh, once you're happy with the color and repeating that process, then we're going to stick with that red and we are going to just darken up the edges and that's it. So just kind of darken up all of the sides of the ear, including the bite mark. All right guys, that's it for today. I hope you like Pinky Lemonade. I think she's an adorable num num and I had so much fun drawing her. If you like this video, hit the like button so we know. And if you want us to draw another num num for you, just uh, leave the name in the comments down below. Well guys, until next time, bye. Thanks so much for watching. If you liked this video and want to see more like it, hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe. Also, don't forget to check out our Spanish channel.